Welcome and today I'm going to show you how you can create a rapid wireframe prototype in under 15 minutes using Sketch and Envision. What we're going to be building here is essentially a very simple uh, photo sharing app. Now we're going to make this native for iPhone X so here I'm using a few components straight out of Sketch that we can manipulate ourselves by going to this iPhone X bars menu down the bottom. Now we're going to go for four items and just to keep things simple um, we're going to leave those icons as is and just detach that symbol and play around with it a little bit just to make it look a little nicer. Now all I'm doing here is just quickly editing the opacity of the home indicator just to not draw as much, oops that's not opacity, <laughs> just to not draw as much attention to it in the design. Awesome. Now what I'm going to do as well is just make sure this menu looks as though it is part of the background and also just ensure that we just give those icons a little bit more breathing room from the top of the menu there. They are a little crowded at the moment so I'm just going to bring them down a few pixels to keep that looking sharp. Alright, I'm liking that. Now we're just going to go and change the labels here on the icon menu so that people know what they're navigating to. I'm not going to add uh, icons, custom icons here, I'm just going to keep the label the same in the interest of time. We want to get this out the door in under 20 minutes. So there is the, the crux, the skeleton done. Now we're just going to begin adding some of the, the photos you would expect to see on your feed. Now you can see that we're working with an upboard of 375 pixels. We want to do three photos across in a grid. So all I'm going to do is just do 375 minus 40 and then divide that by 3 to make sure that we're getting 10 pixel gap between each of the photos and keeping it aligned with the iPhone X artboard. So I'm just going to nudge that over 10, nudge that over 10 and pop that one there. Awesome. Now I'm just going to throw an icon in each of these boxes just to represent the fact that they're a placeholder for an image. So I'm using a plugin here called Icon Font. Just using some material icons here that I'm going to drag into the middle, convert to outline and just increase the size of that slightly. Awesome. Now if I center align, horizontal align that quickly, whack that into a group, I can get rid of these other two boxes and just copy and paste them to achieve the same effect. Lovely. Now if I group them, I can copy and paste them easily and we get a simple grid going, which we're just going to continue down the screen a couple of times over here. And that's all there really is to it on this homepage. We just want to show users a feed of photos that their friends have uploaded and we're just going to pull the menu over the top of that to ensure you can see it. And that's it. We're just going to rename that artboard home now so that when we export it later we know what it is and move on to search. Now search essentially is going to serve a very similar purpose. We're just going to have a field where users can type text. So I'm just going to push this grid down slightly and then we're going to add a rounded rectangle that is 375 minus 20 pixels long. Awesome. We're going to throw some radius on that and just keep the border and place that like so. 50 pixels tall and we're just going to throw some text in there along with an icon so people are aware that they can type into the field. Now here I'm just going to use a Poppins font and drop the size slightly and just center that nicely in the middle of the box so it looks good to users. Now let's not forget here we are um, looking in the interest of time so there is more that we could look to add to this page later but we we're really trying to get that skeleton out the door to show people um, we're just going to focus on keeping this page simple for the moment. So let's just change that artboard over to a search so we remember later and then just get started on the upload screen. Now what we're going to do here is just remove some of these existing components we've got so we don't need that title or the search box. We're just going to move that field up and then we're going to copy one of these existing items out of the grid, move that up, pull it into the corner and this is going to form the basis of our page. So if we just 
remove the radius and extend that to a full width of the screen, unlock the constraints if that's stopping you. This is going to be the primary photo that a user is uploading. So we're just going to ensure that this icon again is center aligned and then pull all of these items underneath of the time so we can see the time and then just uh, remove that from the symbol and change the background to match the image background because that will be sitting on top of the image in the design. And that's the crux of this page done. So now we're just going to chuck in a little text field here allowing the user to return back. We're going to put this in the top left hand corner where one would expect to find it. Now let's just move that grid up closer to that image so a user knows they can change it by hitting the grid. Now I'm just going to show you guys here the power of the symbols library in Sketch to make life easier when changing these menus. Now you'll notice here that you can just hit this and either change it to an inactive or an active menu item. Um, and then simply also just change the icon from an inactive to an active icon. So let's just do this for the search menu quickly now. But as for the upload field, we're actually not going to keep that. We're going to delete that menu out because we want it to appear popping up from the bottom for users. So let's also just extend that grid and that's the upload page done. Awesome. So we're just going to copy that artboard over and get started on the profile page. Now the profile page is a little different to the others. So we will delete some of these components and need to create them from scratch. So most profile, uh, profiles have a photo on them so we're just going to add one in here change that to 70 pixels I'm going to leave it without a photo for the moment just for the sake of this and we're going to put in the user's name so make them all sub change that to a semi bulb we're going to bump that up slightly copy and paste that down make that a lighter grey for the user's description And there we are. So it is looking a little long at the moment. So we're just going to change that to a 14 pixel font, group the two and then align them with the photo. And then give it a bit of space and that is done. Okay, we're 20 pixels out from the top and 10 across. And now we're just going to put in a quick little field on um, what the user's sort of following and follower status is like. So we're going to do a three grid again. It's going to be um, 125 pixels wide each. Um, we're just going to bump that down from the photo. And we're going to take the fields that we used previously as a good way to start that. So we'll just copy and paste them into the box and we're going to move them around. So that the following field is gray and then center around the both of them and then just give that a number so we do 1.7k real nice quick and easy and just align those group them and then we're just going to align them with the box and that is done and ready to copy and paste so we'll put this one in the middle here we're just going to change the field from following to followers um, that'll be fine we'll copy and paste it again and then the furthest right just the number of photos that the user has uploaded so we'll just put some values in here and there we have it let's just group them make sure they space 20 pixels from the photo and then we're just going to take the grid and also make sure it is 20 pixels from that follower line there so we're just going to go ahead here and make that profile icon the active icon here so the user knows what page they're on again just using those powerful symbols and built straight into sketch and there we go, so that's looking good on the profile. Now we're just going to upload this to InVision now. We're going to create a new prototype on an iPhone X artboard. We're just going to call this uh, Rapid Prototype Wireframe. And then create and we'll sync that. Now if you don't have InVision, you can simply visit the InVision website or check out the description. 
and then we will end up looking something like this. So if we visit the home screen, um, we'll just hit this icons tab down here and remove that status bar, we've already got it added. Now, Envision is a powerful tool and we're really just going to only create one template and reuse that through the app. So here I've got search and I'm just going to connect that to the search screen and include it to a hub spot template called icons. Awesome, and now that will copy through to my other screens and I'm just going to do the same thing here with the other remaining symbols. Again, just to save us that crucial time in achieving this under 20 minutes. So we'll just throw this one in on the profile as well. Add that to the template. And even though we are on home, we'll still do the same thing just so it includes throughout the template as well. Awesome. So we'll just hit this drop down up here and apply a template to other screens and we'll apply it to all of our screens and done. Now let's see how that looks. Oop, something's gone wrong here, so I'll just drag that back down and we'll try again. Beautiful. Now the one thing we'll notice is on this screen we don't actually have the menu bar so we will just go back to that template and we're going to unapply it to the upload screen because we don't need it. So we'll just deselect upload, done. And then preview. We're just going to add it back as well because this screen has it. If we start from home and preview that once more, we've got ourselves a working prototype. How awesome is that? I love to build these little uh, rapid prototype wireframes because they're perfect for showing off uh, your basic structure to anyone from users to potential investors without sinking a whole lot of time into high fidelity designs that you might have to redo them later. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and uh, don't forget to subscribe and thanks so much. Cheers.